Hello everybody, welcome back to Good Old Stereotypes. It's been exactly a year since the first episode was uploaded onto YouTube, so make sure to wish the original episode happy first anniversary in the comments below. But with that said, Assault Rifles and Phantom Forces have a wide variety in terms of the community due to the sheer amount of assault rifles in the game. Some guns are used exclusively by tryhards, some are pure memes, and others are overshadowed and forgotten. Now, before we begin, then I'm gonna do a quick disclaimer. These stereotypes do not apply to everyone. They have reasons for existing, but they're always exceptions. So, for example, if I say the HK416 is exclusively used by tryhards, that doesn't mean that you necessarily are one, it just means that that's what people automatically assume about you when they see you using the HK416. Understand? Are we good? Okay, good. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Now, the AK-12 has two types of players. The first one is obviously the new player. This guy just joined the server and has no idea what he's doing. The second is very rare to see but still exists somewhere out there, and that is the bars barrel user. This guy is absolutely insane and only uses the AK-12 no matter what. He's probably going for the CEO of AK-12 title and honestly, I can respect that. Now, the A94 is a bit special. This guy uses this on every map and therefore changes his playstyle. If he's playing on maps like Ravad 9-11 and Desert Storm, then he's going to be using Burst. However, if it's on other maps like Suburbia or Black Sight, then he's going to be using Auto. Or he's the guy who puts the import 62 conversion on for the meme. This guy is just tryharding. Yep, that's it. I mean, sure, you're gonna see a few low ranks using it here and there, but the majority of AS Val users are tryharding with extended mag, full stock, and then the grip of their choice. Now, the Scar L has two types of players. There's, of course, the new player who uses their advanced Fortnite knowledge and assumes that the Scar L is the best gun in the entire game. Then there's the guy who uses the Scar L like a PDW with 9mm, who's actually pretty terrifying sometimes. And hell, sometimes he may even mix it up and use 9mm alongside long barrel, so he's more of a threat at longer ranges. To tell what kind of player you're dealing with here is to look at what ammo type they're using. If they're using anything that isn't 9mm, then they are just a person who dislikes recoil heavily. However, if they are using 9mm, then you know that this person mains the AUG A1 and uses it every game non-stop. Or they are the guy who put 3 scopes on his AUG and is just an absolute meme lord. Now this guy can either be the best joke you'll experience all day or the worst nightmare you'll ever have. This guy is either a god or a person who just unlocked it. The guy who actually knows how to use it is extremely scary because nobody suspects anything of him until he slowly starts killing everybody and single-handedly shuts down the entire server. Seriously, if this guy isn't on your team, you might as well just leave the server. Now there are two types of G36 users. The guy who uses the .300 conversion and the guy who doesn't. The guy who uses the .300 conversion is the guy who uses all the G36 type weapons on all their classes and swears on his life that the G36 family is the best gun family in the game. And then there's the guy who doesn't use the .300 conversion which is just your average G36 user with the usual setup that literally everyone else uses. This gun is one of the universally known tryhard guns. If you see somebody using this, then I guarantee you that they are tryharding. This is one of the forgotten guns of Phantom Forces. Seriously, I've never seen anybody use this for so long. Which is a shame because this gun has some pretty good stats. It 3 shots in close range combat, it has 700 fire rate, and the signature low recoil that all the AUGs have. So if you see somebody using this, they either watch this video, or they are a person who just unlocked it. You 
you serious? Now the Famous has a couple types of players who uses it. The Frenchman. Then there's the guy who uses the G2 conversion and hollow point and only ever plays on Bazaar. Or you have the tryhard who blames everyone for everything even when it's directly his fault. So the AK-47 has many types of people who use it. First off we have the CSGO player. This guy got bored after his 5000th competitive match and decided to play some Phantom Forces instead. However, this guy only hip fires and uses no attachments whatsoever. Next up we have the bootleg Beowulf guy. This guy put hollow point on his AK and he mains this because he got so used to the two shot kill style that he simply can't return to using other assault rifles. Then we have the guy who uses the buckshot conversion. He most likely bought the conversion itself and uses it just so he doesn't feel like he wasted money, or he just did it for the meme. And speaking of memes, then last up we have the guy who uses a slug ammo and just doesn't take anything seriously. He probably uses this instead of snipers and somehow still gets frags. Although there is one final type of AK-47 user, and that is the... Now if there's a gun that's underused in the game then this is the one. While Stalker doesn't have much, .300 Blackout or Hollow Point makes it pretty good on close range maps. But anyways, the only types of players I've seen using the AUG-A3 are people who just unlocked it and have no idea how to use it. Now the AL-85A2 is a very solid assault rifle. In close range you won't get much done, but at range this thing slaps due to its good fire rate, 4 shot kill at all ranges, and low recoil. Anyways, the types of people who use this gun are either tryhards or people who have just unlocked it and have no idea how to use it. The tryhards also have the very unique quirk of being extremely defensive about the L85A2, so if somebody calls it bad, he will take that personally and curse at you until you leave the server. Now, the AK-74 was used by people who are just average at the game. Seriously, you never see any particularly good AK-74 users, but you never see any bad ones either. Now, the AKM is a staple weapon for tryhards. They aren't quite on the level of HK416 users, but they are definitely tryharding. The reason they use the AKM in specific is because the AKM is arguably the best AK when you don't take ammo types into the equation and they simply just needed a high damage gun with good handling and recoil. Now the AK-103 is a basic case. You don't ever see this used without the Say it with me everyone, the Boris Barrel, and the 556 conversion. Seriously, this is the only setup people ever use on this gun. So TAR-21 users are either tryhards or the guy who bought duplex thinking it would be a better AA-12 and feels obligated to use it because he spent 3000 credits on it. This guy is just memeing around. Yeah, don't expect this guy to take anything seriously because he will play like an absolute idiot, but somehow despite the fact that this gun is terrible, he still manages to get top 3 on the scoreboard. Now this guy's either memeing, or a thing that even scares the AA-12. Like no joke, serious M231 users are terrifying to fight against. They make the AA-12 on Bazaar look like a f***ing joke, because they can single-handedly kill your entire team before you even realize what's happening and then just disappear just as fast. 
the C7A2 is another staple weapon for tryhards. This guy is an evolved form of L85A2 users because of his terrifying accuracy. This guy can destroy you at almost any range no matter what and is most likely over rank 150. But if you somehow kill him 3 times in a 1v1 at range then he's most likely gonna host a vote kick on you. G11K2 users who actually put in the time and effort to learn this gun are terrifying. This guy has perfect accuracy and can one tap you at any range at any time. You're never really safe when this guy's in the server, so if he's not on your team, well, god help you. Well that's it for this time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoyed the revamped version of Stereotypes. I'm gonna do my best to make it as high quality as possible, so if you want to help me out then the best way to do that is to subscribe to the channel and share this video with others, as this is my biggest project yet and I really want the Phantom Forces community to see this. Also remember that the originals can still be viewed, but they will be unlisted once the revamp has been finished, so make sure to archive them whichever way you can before it's too late. The full playlist is in the description below. Oh, and also make sure to join my Discord server, as I have a chat there where you can suggest your own stereotypes for upcoming episodes. Plus, we're trying to hit 100 members before 2022, so it would be really nice if you had joined and helped me reach that goal. Link in the description, hope to see you there. But, until next time, peace.